UMass at New Mexico State. New Mexico State, a seven and a half point favorite. Total is 45. This line opened, AJ, as high as 10 and a half before dropping down to seven and a half. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'll just go ahead and say what I want to say from the beginning. I'm going to want New Mexico State here, but I'm going to wait. I want to see a seven. Like I, I'm, Ooh. I'm crossing my fingers that we get a seven to pop up, uh, and I'm going to fire on New Mexico State here. They were a lot better than people thought last year, and they were turning twelve starters. Jerry Kill seems to have things kind of rolling the way he wants to. They mm-hmm. get, they got a linebacker from Michigan to transfer in to New Mexico State. That doesn't happen yeah. in any world prior to Jerry Kill getting to New Mexico State. So uh, they've got the majority of their offense returning, including Diego Pavia, who, like in the second half of last season, was their offense. Yep. Like he was a real problem. And UMass will be a little better than last year, but they were so bad last year that it's like a little doesn't help anything. They, get, they scored 12 and a half points per game last yeah. year. That's embarrassing. This this New Mexico State defense is legit. I think they will keep them. I mean, Jerry Kill is a, a defensive guy. And when you talk about New Mexico State already being 115th in tempo last year, now with these new rules, I think there's lots of New Mexico State unders to watch. Yep, I like that. I think this one is one of them. Uh, UMass hasn't won a road game since 2018. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're going to go and do something special uh, at New Mexico State here. They've been decent against the spread, but this New Mexico State team has really figured things out. I, I don't think that uh, UMass is going to be able to move the ball. So I, I think they, they get kind of roughed up a little bit to start the season. Again, I'm going to wait until a 7 pops because the way the steam has been pushing, I, I think that we get a 7, maybe on game day. I don't know. But if I see a seven, I'm going to take that seven. And again, I, I, I uh, the under I think is already a. Uh, I think I, th- I think the under is playable. Uh, New Mexico State's going to want to run the ball. That's just they're in their DNA. And, and Pavia, you mentioned he can make plays and he can make plays with his legs as well. And for UMass, I think their strategy is going to be to keep the ball on the ground as well because the strength of their team is their offensive line. They have a veteran offensive line coming back, and so I, I look at just the, both offenses, and I don't see where it, I, I could see it being a completely one-sided game because I think New Mexico State is just that much better than UMass, but I don't see a high-scoring game. I think the clock's going to be moving. You mentioned the new rules. We should be looking towards unders, and we have two teams that are going to run the ball a bunch. I think the clock is going to be ticking all game in Las Cruces, and I think we do get an under here between these two teams. Hey, guys, if you enjoy our content and want even more videos from pregame.com, hit that subscribe button right now. I promise you, you will not find better sports betting information anywhere else.